fuck anyway, would you? I would. Easily. Quickly and in a heartbeat. Yeah. I wouldn't, like, enjoy it. I'll admit that, but... I'd enjoy talking about it. I will say that the date she's going to take me on beforehand will probably be better than anything I've ever been on in my life. Yes. And all the money that hopefully you can get, because that's how I always imagine it works. You have sex with a celebrity, they give you a shit ton of money. <laughs> that's funny, because I've pretty much paid for sex every time I've had sex. And I'm not saying I've ever purchased a hooker. I don't have that kind of money, but... You, know, you gotta go to like PF Chang's or Chipotle or something. You, know? <laughs> you gotta go to PF Chang's, the high, the highest class, dude. The highest of class. That's some dank Chinese food there, though. Remember, I told you about the time that my friend came out of my closet while I was came trying to have sex with a girl. Is that like a real thing? So we had a uh, we had a rager, and I invited this girl over um, who I was trying to. Uh, What's the word? Molest, but like, if she's cool with it. I don't actually know. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good talk. No, this uh, no, this girl was over and I was, you know, trying to sleep with her because I was single and I was like, oh, let me, let me do sex to a girl. And uh, she got like shit house drunk on gin and fell asleep in my room. Nice. My room in Maryland. I don't know if you've, you, you, you were there. Yeah. I had this walk-in closet that was, like, massive, right? I had a twin-size mattress in there just because I needed to get rid of it, and it fit in my closet, so I left it in there. So my friend would come over. If he ever got too drink too drink to drive, apparently <laughs> too drunk to drive, he would just nap on the... He would sleep on the fucking mattress in my closet, right? Yeah, that's fair. Um, he's on the mattress in the closet, just chilling, taking, taking naps to sleep off the party drunks. And uh, this girl, like, wakes up in the morning. We both woke up, and... We were chilling and it was it was nice and we we're like all right it's it's about to happen and Josh I'm, I I can't put my hands together and you can see them but just know I was as close to having sex with a human being as you can get like penis like, was basically touching vagina close or yeah I had a condom on like it was going it was about to go in my friend opens up the closet door because I forgot he was fucking sleeping in there and um, he punches open the door and I mean punches open the door. Screams, oh my god, I'm so hungover. <laughs> Frogs the floor in my bedroom. While I'm on top of this girl, right? And um, he's crawling across the floor, grunting every single step of the way. And then he had to take a beer shit in my bathroom, which is fine. But he didn't shut the goddamn door all the way. So um, her and I both heard every single little fart he made out. That's he took good. the most violently loud shit I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> While I'm trying to fuck this girl, and it was the most frustrated, <laughs> frustrated I think I've ever been in another human being. I was like, "Oh my god, do you not see what's happening?" And uh, yeah, and I, enough to know that we we uh, we still fucked. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Oh god, dude! I'm not gonna not blast because some dude walks out saying, "Oh, I'm hungover," and then shit super loud. I farted during sex. It's natural. No, no, have you ever, like, masturbated using your cell phone? Or even, like, a laptop. Battery dies or something, and you see the reflection of your own face grunting feverishly as you're masturbating. <laughs> and then you realize... Thank God I have not? Oh, I have. Uh, I was I was cranking one out in the bathroom, and um, I was using my phone, and my, my phone screen went dark. And I was like, oh no. And I saw my face in the reflection of my black phone screen. Of like what I looked like when I was about to vinegar stroke, and I was like, "Oh, I I understand why all those people didn't want to have sex with me in my life now, because this isn't this is no good." <laughs> it's it's so gotta be a beautiful, beautiful no, little. <laughs> it is so violently unattractive, Josh. <laughs> like, like my like cold dead eyes. <laughs> I'm trying to like. Oh, it's, <laughs> It's the was, worst thing that anyone has ever had to experience. Oh, God, it's hard it's, to explain. <laughs> uh, suffice to say, it's not pretty. I think it's the best way it's to put like it. A, it's like, a, imagine the face of a turtle that's trying to fuck something. Did I ever tell you about this story where I tried to fuck this one girl? And um, we went to a P.F. Chang's and she said I was short. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start from the top. <laughs> Please do. Well, it all started back in 1987. Uh huh. Words and now, 
and then rewind about three years when this happened. Man, the story's but, uh, going great. Right. <laughs> My timeline's all fucked up. Hold on, let me think about the math. Dude. What year did we go to the moon? Uh, I think we went last, last week, maybe? No, no, when, was, when, did, when did Lance Armstrong land on the moon? And what was it, like the 70s? The was 60s? it, do you really not know when we went to the moon, Josh? No, it was fake, so I don't like to follow it. <laughs> 